Hi, I'm Michael Bennett, Senior Curator of Early Western Art here at the Museum of Fine Arts in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we're in the gallery devoted to ancient Roman art uh, here at the museum, standing in front of a marble statue uh, that was made in during Roman times in the first century AD in emulation of, as a tribute really, to a famous Greek original that was created in the middle of the fourth century BC by a sculptor, Athenian sculptor called Praxiteles. It pictures the goddess of, of love and desire, Aphrodite, the Romans called her Venus, uh, with drapery conveniently slipping off of her body, probably was used, it was probably displayed in a, in a garden setting during Roman times. But the original was really interesting, it was made in the 4th century BC by Praxiteles. Uh, he was a very, very smart and wily businessman. He actually created two sculptures of Aphrodite, one was clothed and one was nude. And he marked, tried to market them both. Uh, originally offering them both to the residents on the island of Kos in the Aegean Sea. And uh, they were so shocked and scandalized by the nude Aphrodite that um, they bought the clothed one instead. And he said, eh, never mind, I can not just offer, them to offer the nude Aphrodite to your neighbors. Your neighbors across the way on the western coast of Asia Minor at a city-state called Knidos. They purchased it, they put it in a circular shrine, and within a short amount of time, it became the number one tourist attraction in the entire Greek world. And since then, uh, you know, we recognize the Aphrodite of Knidos, the original, as one of the most famous uh, uh, sculptures in all of uh, Western art history. Just imagine the theme of the nude female figure, how, how popular it is even today. Uh, and this, is, this speaks to the origins of that. So come to the museum and see it. Thank you.